Whether you're just diving into Demon Souls for the first time, or you're revisiting the cult classic via the PS5 remake, one thing remains true. The Kingdom of Boletaria has a rich, albeit obtuse, history. If you're curious about the events that led up to your adventure, then sit back and listen to our tale. Long ago, humans lived peacefully under benevolent rulers, until a lust for power caused the Old One to awaken. The Old One is thought to be one of the most ancient demons in existence, a primordial and unknowable being of immense power. Fueled by an insatiable longing for the souls of humans, it began to create a thick fog that spread across the land, engulfing entire kingdoms. Out of this fog came horrific demons, hungry to devour souls for their insatiable master, the Old One. The fog spread quickly, seemingly unstoppable, eventually wiping out over half of the world. Until, against all odds, the last desperate vestiges of civilization managed to lull the Old One back into its slumber, saving themselves from complete extinction. The fog retreated, but the damage to humanity had been done. In an attempt to ensure a tragedy of this nature would never happen again, six elders were trusted to guard six archstones that were placed across the land as a means of inter-regional travel. A hidden temple called the Nexus was then built as a safe haven for lost souls. The soul arts, which leveraged the innate power of souls to perform dark magic, were banned. Some survivors became monumentals, half-living beings tasked with preserving the fabric of reality, stopping the use of soul arts, and warning future generations of the dangers that could befall them if they don't listen. As time passed, humanity slowly forgot about the archstones, and the monumentals began to disappear. The current ruler, King Alant XII, started as a caring and benevolent leader. He was loved by his subjects and fought bravely against the demons remaining from the first scourge. But as Alant aged, he became dejected and disheartened, and corruption began to creep in. Seeking power for himself and his kingdom, he discovered the Nexus and the long-forgotten Soul Arts. This gave rise to a new age of prosperity for the land of Boletaria, but that wasn't enough to placate Alant's thirst for power. So he returned to the Nexus and awoke the Old One, forming a pact with it. This of course had devastating consequences. With the Old One arisen once more, the fog consumed the lands, and from it the demon army again emerged to consume souls and wipe out human existence. The magic of Demon Souls' story is in piecing together the journeys that its characters take, from their previous history to their actions in the Nexus and other regions. But we can't talk about one particular character without some spoilers, so those who want to experience the game fresh should retreat now. Like all good princes, Ariona Alant moved to defend his father's honor, perhaps blindly. Disguised as Ostrava of Boletaria, Ariona traveled across the kingdom to dispel the rumors that his father was a demon himself. At the same time, Ariona was looking for his father to see if the rumors were actually true. Boletaria was completely cut off from the outside world, and anyone who tried to travel through the deep fog never returned. That was until Valorfax, the younger of King Alon's Twin Fang Knights, fought his way out. Valorfax told the world of Boletaria's fallen king, the Awoken Old One, and the soul-consuming demons that had overrun the kingdom. If no one can stop the spread of the fog and the rampage of the demons as it drifts outside the city walls, humanity will be completely consumed. But of course, there is one final hope. That's you, the Slayer of Demons. Demon Souls is available right now on PS5. If you're unsure about diving into the notoriously difficult game yourself, you can check out GameSpot's full review. And if you need some help surviving, we have a handy beginner's guide too.